It's been a tough week for 23-year-old Bruce van Rienen. He, along with other concerned fishermen, have been searching tirelessly for Durek van Bleek, a fisherman and close relative who remains lost at sea. He is one of many fishermen from Hangberg in Out Bay, a poor fishing community where many are forced to resort to illegal fishing methods in a desperate attempt to put food on the table. Not only has this latest incident shaken the community, but has forced fishermen such as Van Rienen to reevaluate the risks involved in these illegal fishing methods. Cousin is gone, and for me, it's like I can't go again. They're going to do it to me also. But you, if I can find him and get him, I will feel better. And it will feel better for the community to also go to see again. But now it's a moment we feel it here to him. Many here believe they simply have no choice, as fishing quotas are far and few between. Some as young as 13 risk life and limb for high value species such as West Coast Rock Lobster, a fishery that is over harvested. With nothing but a surfboard as a makeshift vessel, this catch yielded just two undersized lobster, but others venture further out to sea where it gets even riskier. We go with boats to sea. We don't work on deck boats, but we work on rubber ducks. And that is the boats that take for us to see, to go get. We don't say we go boats, but we go get some crayfish from Perlamun. But we do it for a family, we don't do it for gangsterism. I got a child of eight months. My work is to work on the sea. I don't have other work. I didn't do my three. What can I do? For me, it's like I can't go again because I done this to my cousin. But what was I? I that is my work. The community have been desperate to access small scale fishing rights allocations that can sustain themselves. And the government is attempting to address this dire situation. But there's not much hope on the horizon. Poaching in Hout Bay is a microcosm of a far more broader issue facing South Africa's fishing sector. 90% of the families here make their living off, off the oceans. And uh, the living conditions due to this has been deteriorating over the past few years because most of the allocations go to the broader side of, of, of South Africa instead of more to the coastlines. So now the people start suffering on, on, on in that, in, with that regard and suffering without uh, the opportunities of, of living off the sea makes them go into different areas and this is where, 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 where communities start going chaotic. For Van Rinnen though, it remains an anxious wait while fears of venturing out start to creep in around the inherent dangers the sea possess. Travis Andrews, CGTN Cape Town.